What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto that ranked double ladder in the beginning of the season, so we're using some off-meta teams with a nice little weakness policy tentacle team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, seriously, yo, just consider it. Just think about it just for a little bit. Just be like, yo, should I subscribe to Jeans? Have I been watching Jeans channel? If you said yes to that, then scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, support me as a content creator, and uh, join the Jeans community. But uh, before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Joshua for leaving his team on my Twitter. Seriously, if you guys want to leave me rental codes, send them to me over on Twitter. Either DM me, tweet them at me, and I'll definitely check them all out and potentially play most of them. So I really love getting you guys' teams. I really love checking them out, and I really love using them on the channel. So seriously, huge shout out to Joshua for leaving his team for me. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Tentacle. Such a cool Pokemon. It was one of those Pokemon as a kid that I never really liked. But as I grew up, I was just like, dude, he's pretty cool. He's pretty dope. Same thing like with Pelipper. I honestly didn't like Pelipper back in the day. And now I love Pelipper. I think Pelipper is such a funny, cool Pokemon. But uh, we got Clear Body alongside with the weakness policy as his item and ability. Rock and Hydro Pump and Sludge Bomb, both for our special attacking stat moves. We also have Blizzard for coverage. And then last but not least, we got Protect on our boy. Second Pokemon is going to be Calyrex over here. We're rocking Astro Bras, Bulldoze, Trick Room, Protect, and then we got the As One and Focus Ash. So a great Pokemon to pair up with the Tentacle. Just super fast and great all around. Middle left is going to be our Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw is like one of those Pokemon that can hit like an absolute truck, but it can get dumped in one shot considering it is uh, there's a, a lot of fairies or strong fairies in the game. So Buzzsaw one of those Pokemon. If you get them in at the right time, it can do a lot of damage. We got Beast Boost alongside with that Assault Vest, and then we got Close Combat for heavy stab damage, high horsepower, Leech Life for stab damage, and HP recovery, and then we got Ice Punch for our coverage move. Right next to him is going to be Groudon over here. Set the Drought, controlling weather with that Pokemon. We also have the Citrus Berry, and then a fairly normal moveset. We got Prince Place Blades, Rock Slide, Fire Punch, and Protect. Just a solid restricted mod all around. Bottom left is going to be a defensive specialist over here. We got Umbreon. He's super, super bulky and great all around. We got Synchronize as his ability, which I would rather have inner focus, but Synchronize seems like it can work pretty cool. And then we got the Safety Goggles as the item, and then a fairly normal moveset. That works so well. We got Helping Hand, Foul Pite, Yawn, and Snarl. I just love this Pokemon. Really great defensive specialist, bulks out Pokemon, and it's a really good support mod on the side. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Speed Control and Fake Out user. It is going to be Raichu with that Lightning Rod and the Magnet. We got Fake Out, Nuzzle, EWF for Speed Control, and Volt Switch just to pivot out and get another Pokemon in there. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Weakness Policy Tentacle team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. We are hopping into our first battle, going up against a Groudon and Solgaleo team with Regilecki, Umbreon, Volcarona, and Grimmsnarl. I really want to go into Weakness Policy Tentacruel, but my only problem is if he leads the Regilecki. I mean, we can hard swap maybe into like a Groudon at that point. So I'm just going to go Calyrex Tentacruel, try to get that Weakness Policy rolling and showcase his Pokemon to its fullest potential. Groudon, obviously, in the back end. And then last but not least, Buzzroll's not looking bad. I don't mind a nice little Assault Vest Buzzroll in the back end. But Umbreon's also looking solid, too. I think it's between Umbreon and Buzzsaw. Two very great Pokemon. Hmm. What does Jeans want here? What does Jeans want? I mean, we do have Foul Play on Umbreon, which works wonders on Solgaleo. So I kind of want to roll in Umbreon at this point. And then we got Snarl. We kind of roll after that. I do dig it. So you know what? I'm going to roll in that Pokemon. Umbreon, come on down. I love me some Umbreon. I love me some Umbreon. And then if he has special attackers like Volcarona, I can, and Regilecki, I can just, you know, Snarl drop at that point. But let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. But yo, I totally forgot to mention. A, question of the day, and B, it is 4th of July in the United States. So if you guys are United States viewers, happy holidays. Happy holidays. This question of the day actually kind of like resonates with the 4th of July. It is what barbecue food is your favorite. You know, 4th of July, it's all about that barbecue. For me, I love some ribs. I love me some ribs. I can house down some ribs. I'm a big fan of like potato salad and pasta salad as well. Hot dogs, big hot dog guy. Corn dogs especially, but corn dogs don't really like grill anything. They're more of like a sporting event kind of thing. But uh, yeah, let me know you guys answer in the comment section down below. And happy holidays to all my United States viewers. But uh, we're gonna roll into here. I'm just gonna drop a bulldoze with my clear body and proc weakness policy. And I think I'm just gonna Dynamax and Max Ooze. Right, I think I'm just gonna Ooze across and get the special attack boost. I just think it's gonna be big all around for my team. Let's see how he plays this one. Let's see how my boy plays this one. Nice little, nice little Max Ooze for special attack boost for. My Tentacruel and Shadow Rider Calyx is going to work wonders. And then Bulldoze after this, it's going to slow down everybody except for my weakness policy uh, Tentacruel because we do have Clear Body. And then I can legit just Astro Barrage and kind of roll off from there. I think it's I think it's a wrap, right? Like, this, this match is looking good for us. Let's just see what he does from here. He's not going to die because he's going to set up screen. He's going to suck. Ooh. No bueno. Sucker Punch, no bueno. 
No bueno. <laughs> the one move that really counteracts me here. Bulldoze gonna roll out here. I'm gonna chip up on you. Hopefully Volcarona. I wonder what Volcarona's doing. Hopefully he's going after Tentacruel. Hopefully he's going after Tentacruel. That could be nice for us. Let's see how this one plays. If he goes after Tentacruel, we could be sitting in such a good spot. We really could be. Because Ooze is gonna come out here. We're gonna go plus three on the attack point. Let's just stab it to KO, right? Yeah, no screens allowed for him. That's a big turn for us. God dang, your soccer punch coming in hot. I think we just bring out what's called at this point. If, or if uh, Kallax is down here. We just bring out Umbreon for a little bit of support in the back end. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Leave him alone. He's going to quit. Okay, yo, I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Because Sucker Punch isn't on the field anymore. It's not on the field. The speed's going to raise too. I think it's only one stage. I think Kallax should still be faster, right? Kallax should still be faster because we did minus one on that. He's going to send out Grout on here. And uh, I could change up the weather. I could change it to water, but I might just drop it to ice. What do I want to do here? Do I want to drop the ice? What is my body? What's your speed, Tentacle? That's the real question. What is your speed, buddy? Are you fast and ground on? Ooh, probably not. I could guard the shot. But at this point, I really want to go into a uh, an Astro Barrage and just chip up some damage. And I want to see this Pokemon speed. So, yeah, it's it's normal on the speed board. My boy should be fast on the field. And I'm just going to drop an Astro Barrage. I might just guard the shot. I'm just going to guard the shot. That's going to be my play. Because I'm plus one with Calvax. I'm just going to guard this Groudon shot. I think Groudon is going to Dynamax. He does not. Wow. He's not Dynamax. He's just dropping a Blades here. Could have just stayed in. Astro Barrage coming in hot. Should be able to take out Volcarona. Actually, Volcarona is plus one on special defense. We'll see. But should be able to do good damage all around. Look at that damage. Heat Wave coming in here. We're going to block it. And he's probably going for Blades. But at this point, I could bring in my Groudon of my own. Or I can go into Umbreon. So Umbreon wouldn't be bad. Brand does have a lovely little foul play. I think Blade's flying from him. Yeah. So we guard up these shots. I probably should have went this turn. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I see you. So Groudon could come out for me. Could go Umbreon, which I'm kind of leaning towards. Should we go Umbreon? Let me see the speeds. I kind of want to go into you just in case, like, if we can outspeed. 110. Eh. Eh. Do I still go into him? I don't think it's a bad play. Do not think it's a bad play. You know what? I'm going to roll the ground on here. I'm gonna roll on the ground. I think I just protect them, right? I think I just protect them, maybe change weather. I don't know. What do I do? So I could stay and just drop a rock slide. Yeah, let's drop a rock slide, take out Volcarona. And let's change the weather to water. Water or ice. What would be better for us? Let's see. Who do we think his last Pokemon is? Probably Solgaleo, right? And we have the Umbreon in the back end, which works wonders. And he still has Dynamax. Uh, let's go, Geyser. Or do we, no, you know, we're going to go icing and guarantee this KO. We're going to guarantee this KO. Because I don't know if we get that. We probably should have just went into water. Because we are plus three on, on special attack. I'm overthinking. I'm overthinking right now. But yeah, we could have dropped water and KO'd him, no problem. Let's see what this guy does. I'm kind of just scared of that Groudon. That Groudon is definitely scaring me a little bit. We do have the Citrus Berry, which is wonderful. It's going to be nice for us. But I don't see him Dynamaxing just yet. He's going to Giga Drain me. It's totally fine. That did actually a lot of damage. He's gonna grant some more HP, but if we can land this rock slide, he's dead all day. Are we gonna go first? We are gonna go first. So cool. Groudon's dead. If this rock slide connects, he's gonna be dead. It turns into a 3v1 situation. And he's gonna have to Dynamax Solgaleo. And at that point, I'm legit just gonna start ripping into it and then just have Umbreon come out there later. Foul play into him and pretty much win us the battle, right? It does sound beautiful. It does sound lovely. The rock slide connect, please. Thank you very much. It should KO, no problem. It's physical attacking. Yes, sir. Volcarona, get on out of here. So my boy Tentacruel is buzzing right off the bat. If he didn't have Sucker Punch with uh, with uh, with Grimstone, we could have been we could have been cooking. We could have been cooking, yo. We could have been cooking. This would have been amazing. But still, yo, we take that all day. The plus one on the special attack boost is ridiculously strong with Calyrex and Tentacruel on the field. But he goes to his last Pokemon. It's three v one. We have Umbreon in the back end with foul play just for this reason. That's actually why we brought Umbreon. Like, you guys go back and listen to me at the end of uh, or when I was picking my uh, Pokemon. I was like, yeah, yo, Umbreon could be amazing. Could be amazing. Man. But I'm going to drop a, a Hydro Pump. I'm going to drop a Blades. And he's probably going to Dynamax and try to win this battle, right? Oh, he straight up cancels and he gives me the win. Let's go. 1-0 and with the Tentacruel squad is buzzing. We're battling a tough team in battle number two, but it's all good. We grabbed ourselves a nice, lovely win in battle number one. So we can roll out here and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. We're going up against a Zacian and Yvelta team. This is all heavy meta with Landorus, Regilecki, Storm Drain, Gaston, and Grimstone. So if we bring the Tentacle, we got to watch out for Storm Drain. Definitely got to watch out for that. But I feel like Tentacle and uh, Calyrex could be just solid. 
They'll just be solid all around. But like I said, that, uh, that Regilecki is scaring me. Or we can go into Speed Control with Raichu, which wouldn't be bad. But then he has Landers, kind of scary. But uh, I'm going to go Calyrex and Tentacruel again. It just works well because if he does have Intimidate, it doesn't affect these Pokemon. They're special attacking. And it's just beautiful all around. We'll bring Groudon in the back end because, you know, Groudon's a beast. And who do I roll off from here? Buzzroll? Buzzroll? Raichu? Umbreon? I think I'm going to lean a bit more towards Buzzroll here. Even though, dude, he gets dumped on by so many of these Pokemon. Like, bad. That's what's so bad about Buzzroll. Like, dude, I love this Pokemon to death, but it just gets ripped on. I'm going to bring him anyway. Just because we won the first battle, he gets ripped on by Yvelta and Zacian and Landers, who all outspeed. So tough. Like, dude, I love Buzzroll to death, but that's why I wish they did, like, buffs and nerfs and up in Pokemon games. Because, like, the Pokemon like him don't get enough loving on the rank ladder, and you can just buff him for a season, nerf a few Pokemon for a season, and then, you know, switch it back to normal. But, uh, they're gonna go Yvelta alongside with Grimmy Grim, and at this point, uh... Hmm, we did the Focus Dash, which is nice. Uh, I gotta watch out for Sucker Punch if he's rocking with it. Um, I'm thinking of just Dynamax him. Do I proc Policy and get after his battle? Drop Ice onto the Yvelta, which could be pretty good. Or I can Ooze and get that boost. Could pop a Trick Room too. Could pop a- I could pop a Trick Room. I'm leaning towards a Trick Room here. I am really leaning towards a Trick Room. Hmm. What is my play? I could protect and pop a trick room. I mean, Sucker Punch could come in hot. But, you know, I'm just going to bulldoze. Slow down everybody. I'm, I'm going to do what I did last game. Get the special defense boost. And I'm going to get rid of this Pokemon right here. I am going to get rid of Grim Grim. He's going to Dynamax Yvelta. God dang Yvelta. I was thinking of popping a trick room. I really kind of wanted to. It could have been nice. It could have definitely been nice. But I know he's going to go for an air stream. Or he might just go straight for darkness into my Calyrex. I'm kind of hoping. I'm kind of hoping because if he does, we have that Sash, and I kind of just wasted out of turn. As long as that Pokemon's not Rocket Sucker Punch, which he might be. Sucker Punch is deadly. It is deadly. Sucker Punch is legit Calyrex's worst nightmare. It's Calyrex's worst nightmare. I know Yvelta rocks Sucker Punch, but he Dynamaxed it, which I predict it. We shall see how this one plays. But yo, Tentacruel, let's do it again, baby. Run it back up against these meta Pokemon. Show them why you came to play. Good old Tentacruel, yo. Love me some tentacle action. He's going to end up going for a trick. So he's going to trick me. He's going to take off my sash. That's a smart play. At least we do get off this bulldoze. So Kylox is going to be dead. He's going to give me what item? Iron Ball. That's fine. I think he has a focus sash now, which is tough. And you... Oh, the Iron Ball makes you outspeed. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul. Straight up. Shows the orb. Great play by him. The trick coming in hot. Who's is going to fly? This isn't going to be able to KO. He has Sash anyway. We have plus one now, though. Okay. I feel you. I see you. Oh, dude. The trick. He tricked me, dude. He tricked me. How dare you? Uh, could go into you. Hmm. I gotta save my Buswell. Buswell does nothing right now, man. What's your speed, Buswell? Fish on anybody? No, Buswell. Why'd I bring Buswell? He's poopy, dude. <laughs> Buswell's so bad. I love him to death, but he's so bad. It's gets ripped on. Grip Snarl is even super effective to him. I have to roll out with Groudon. Uh, he's probably going to max dark this me and take me out. It's tough news. But uh, I'm here. I'm going to roll into Rock Slide. Hopefully, Rock Slide can take out the Grip Snarl. I'm just going to rip it to hell, dude. I'm coming after that thing. I'm plus one on special attack. Should be able to get a decent amount of damage off. But it's not stab. Which is a little bit of a problem. Let's see how some plays. I thought this is going to rip it to a max dark. He's going to trick me again. Okay, so he's taking us. Oh, yo, he took my berry. God dang, he's gonna eat my berry! <laughs> Yo, this guy! This guy. Eat my berry. I do have a focus ash on now. If he goes after Groudon, we could eat. I don't know if he's gonna go after Groudon. He does. So, thank you, I guess? <laughs> thank you? I guess? But, yeah, we're our special defenses in straight trash can right now. Javelth is gonna be able to dump on any of my Pokemon. Which is terrible. We're gonna roll into a hailstorm. Let's we'll see how much damage this does. This is a good amount. Rock side coming hot. We need your rock side. Rock side, yo, get a crit. Oh, we just took out our ground on. God dang it, dude. <laughs> I can't do it. Rock side coming in. Chip it up some nice damage. Not bad damage. I think I'm gonna have to max guard my tentacle here. Buffets flying. We got some buffets chipping away. 
My special defense is in the trash, man. It's in the trash right now. We have we have Buzzwall. I wish Buzzwall like learned like first turn priority move. It'd be gorgeous, but it does not. He's gonna try to rip into me with a Wing, and I can't do anything about it. I do not have protect on Buzzwall. Do not have protect on Buzzwall. I do not have protect on Buzzwall. Uh, at this point, what do I do? I mean, I guess we'll go for a Leech Life. Try to pick up KO. But I'm just going to ooze over onto you. Can we win this one? I'm trying to think of ways we can win this one. I'm going to ooze over onto this Pokemon. Special defense isn't trash, but I'm going to have to boost my special attack and kind of get rolling with Blizzards. It's like my only way because I can... I think... uh, I think Yvelta does pick up the KO on the Buzzful this round. You're going to trick me again and take my Soul Fest? <laughs> this, this Grimmsnarl, dude. <laughs> this Grimmsnarl, guys. It's going to be so dirty. He's going to airstream, yeah. Buzzful dies to everything. Like I, like I said in the beginning. He stinks. <laughs> He's so bad. <laughs> For no reason. For no reason. We were just getting ripped by the Shivelta. Shivelta is running through us. But hey, yo, we're not getting swept here. Um, I'm trying to think of ways I can actually win this battle. I'm going to pick up the KO here. I'm going to pick up the double KO, actually. And if I can land a Blizzard plus two... Not going to lie. Not going to lie, guys. Can do some work. As long as he doesn't bring in special attackers. I'm minus two on special defense. Let me pick up the double KO. We're going to do the Velta's running us. No problem. Look at this. Get them all out of here. Thank the Lord. Dang, dude. That yellow belt is just... Definition of steamroll right there. Right there. Left and right. Three moves, three KOs. Ouch. Her soul. Her soul. But that Grimstraw did a lot of work, too. He was tricking me, taking all my items. How dare he? How dare he? I didn't have my assault vest. I didn't have my citrus berry. It was awful. He brings out Lando, which ground is super effective. That's rough news. But if I can land this ice, bro, if I can land this ice, we could be sitting decently well. I don't know if Tentacle can eat up a... What's it called? Eat up a blade. If he somehow survives and lands this blizzard, we have a shot at this. Because it, it easily takes out landers. It probably doesn't take out the... Uh, the Zassian because it's not very effective. But we have a chance at freeze. So we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it with my blue tentacle. See how he does here. He's going to end up protecting. You, you coward. You coward. Protects. Mimith Blade is going to fly through here. This is probably not going to KO, but it's going to do a lot of damage, right? Wow. Coward. Give me a freeze on Give me a freeze on this assy. Give me a freeze on this assy. Give me a fighting chance here. Yeah, all right, send it. Give me a freeze on this thing. Freeze it. Freeze it. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Yo, wait just a minute. Man, do I need you like to miss or something? I could protect. We're going for a blizzard. Go ahead, tentacle. Give it to him. Do him dirty. I know Lando outspeeds, man. Which is tough. He just drops an EQ. That's GG's. He's frozen solid. Hold up. Wait a minute. Go ahead, tentacle. Go next. Oh, tentacle goes next. No way. Bro. Bro, if he's frozen one more turn, we win this game. If he's frozen one more turn, we win this game. And we can eat up another Buffett. Oh, my Lord. Dude, yo. Let's get it. Let's get a tentacle. Hydro pump. Finish the game. Finish the game. Frozen solid. Show it to me. No. <laughs> he protected. He protected. Come on, man. I gotta do me dirty like that. I gotta do me dirty like that. Hell's gone too. No. He thawed out. Can we dodge a behemoth blade? Or maybe he makes a mistake, goes for like a play rough and misses. Quick, quick attack. Get him out of here. Dude's rocking quick attack. <laughs> Dude's rocking quick attack. He goes for first time priority move, takes me out. Oh my god. We almost won that battle. Could you guys imagine if that Zassian was frozen one more turn? That would have been an amazing comeback. Lucky comeback, not going to lie, but cool comeback at the same time. But we were this close to winning that battle. He just needs to be frozen one more turn, and we got the land or Hydra Pump. But guys, we're hopping into our third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. Going up against an Origin Form Garatina team with Zassian, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Blastoids, a Triple Starter, and then the Defiant Thunderous. Uh, dude, I love Tentacle here. Tentacle looks like he moves. Right? Tentacle's just looking so nice here. I'm going to go Tentacle. He has super effective moves up against a lot. He has a clear body. I think we might just lead the same. Same Pokemon are looking really nice here. Calyrex. Tentacle. 
I don't care that I let him both times. You never see a tentacle. So I'm going to be showcasing tentacle all day. All day. We'll bring ground in the back end. And do we give Buzzwole another chance here? I think Buzzwole does a little bit better in this situation. So yeah, we're going to give Buzzwole another chance here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. Buzzwole, I'm counting on you, yo. Even though he's stinky, we're going to count on him. We got the pianos playing. Jeans is going to win. Jeans is going to win. Hey, hey. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, I love jamming out to some good old Pokemon music. Nothing beats like Gen 3 music. Like, uh, like I would say Gen 1 to like 4, Elite 4 music. Like, it's just like, dude, let's go. It just hypes you up. He's going to end up going Blastoids and Garatina. And at this point, uh, yeah, we are just going to Bulldoze. Even though I think it's Levitate, I just think Bulldoze is going to be a play. And we rip into like an Ice move. We go Sludge Bomb. We could indeed go for Sludge Bomb because Sludge Bomb would be... Gorgeous, where Max ooze at this point, which I am gonna do. It just sets us up for uh, it just sets us up for success here. Because even if Tentacle doesn't pick up the KO, my Calyrex can then come in there and wipe out with Astro Blast. And he might end up protecting Garatina or swapping out, knowing that my uh, Calyrex can just rip into it with an Astro Blast. So we'll see what he does. I'm Dynamaxing the Tentacle again. The Tentacruel, my fault. I meant to say like Jellyfish. I'm, I'm Dynamaxing the Jelly again. <laughs> the Jelly is getting after it. Get it. Get it, Tentacruel. Love you. Love this Pokemon. Let's get it. So 312 HP. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And what's he going to roll into? Is he going to Dynamax of his own? Indeed. Indubitably he is. And it's probably going to be Blastoids. And he's probably going to go for like a G-Max Cannon. Can you need right? Is that his play? Could be his play indeed. Yes, it is. It is indeed. And now I wish I brought in my... Uh, my Umbreon, because I could just roll in here and snarl, but it's all good. So, Kallax is going to go down here. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. And he's going to end up protecting Garatina. Oh, we love that turn. We love that turn, because we're not going after you, Garatina. We're not touching you. Bulldozer's going to fly here. I don't think it affected Garatina anyway. It box levitate, I believe. We're going to proc policy. We're going to slow down Blastoids, which is, which is nice. So, we slow down Blastoids. Tentacle is going to give us that attack boost, and he's going to canyonate, which is probably going to bring us down close to or onto our sash, and the canyonate damage should be able to pick up the KO onto us. But hopefully not. If not, dude, we get off an amazing Astro Ball turn. Plus one. But look at that damage. That's beautiful damage. But more importantly, we get that plus one, which I which I just adore. Which I adore. We'll take that special attack boost. He's going to roll into canyonate. We saw it's coming from 10 miles away. And come on, yo. Choke this up, Cali. Oh, Calyrex, you soaked it up like it was nothing. Calyrex, you didn't have to. You didn't have to do that. Love it. We love it. We love it. So at this point, I'm just going to ooze on the blast. So he's going to get that boost, and I'm just going to ask Barrage. Calyrex, you did not have to do that. You did not have to. Garatina should drop pretty easily in this. Let's see how this one goes. He's going to guard, so I missed my ooze. I was going to throw it into Garatina's slot, but it's all good. He's going to try to double protect. This for oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> what you mean? Oh jeez, what a play. Okay, I understand. It's all good. We're going to Buzzful. Buzzful, come on, buddy. Come on, Buzzy. Buzzful coming in hot. Hurts his soul. Okay, let's roll off from here. This could lead to life, but I'm, I'm doubling down into Garatina. There's no way Garatina protects here. There's no way Garatina protects. No shot this Pokemon protects. He withdraws Blastoise. Okay. He withdraws Blastoise out of nowhere. And who are you going to roll into? Incineroar? Zassian comes out on the field. Okay. Okay, so Zassian comes out on the field. I'm cool with that. He's going to interpret Sword up. Blastoise has got to watch out for that because that is definitely scary. And we're going to Hailstorm. I wish I had to protect. And this KO. It does cool. So Ice Punch is going to slide over. Ice Punch is going to slide over. That's not bad. Ice Punch will slide over here. It's not very effective, but we have a chance to freeze. And we got that freeze in the last battle, so maybe we'll get it again here. Doing dirty, Bustle. Ice Punch coming in hot. I love his animation, though. I love his animation, though. He's just like... <laughs> sends, sends a full-blown fist to the face of a dog with a sword. That'd probably be the scariest thing. Like, like we get it. Like Dogs are cute and stuff, but imagine like you just like walk into your house, and your dog has like a sword in its mouth. I'd be like, oh, whoa there. 
whoa there lassie <laughs> like it wouldn't be like terrifying but it's just like throw you off so much that it'd be scary you know what i'm talking about it'd just be so weird that it'd be scary he's like oh where, where'd you get the sword at <laughs> he's gonna end up going back into blast so fake out is definitely an option for him and tentacle i can freely send blizzards if i wanted to i could freely send blizzards but i'm thinking just trying to connect this hydro pump get rid of you and maybe just close combat we'll do more my horsepower will do more. Let's let's double down his ass here. Let's double down his ass. I do not see his ass protecting with a with a with the speed that it has. I think it just takes out Buswell. It's gonna helping hand. Who are you taking out here? Who are you taking out here with a helping hand? He was playing. He's gonna take out my tentacle. Tentacle, can you soak, please? Probably not. Right? Probably no shot. Soak somehow. No way, yo, dude. He's so OP. That Pokemon is so strong for no reason. For no reason, he's a, he's that strong. High horsepower coming in hot. How much damage are we doing? Some nice damage. I wish I had, dude. I wish I had protect on my uh on my uh bus wool. It just works so well. It would legit work so well. Vortex is chipping away. Bus wool's dead next turn. Um, I think blades might have to be reply. Right? Do we drop a blades? We do have a citrus berry. I do not think behemoth. Can behemoth blade take us out? It might. I don't know. The helping hand is just terrifying, you know? It's tough. It's tough news. So we changed up the weather. No more buffets hanging around here. I'm going to go for the blades. And I'm going to rip with a leech life here. Just try to get some HP back with the He's going for helping hand again. What a battle. What a battle. Let's see what he does. He's going to end up protecting Blastoids. That's fine. Blastoids gets protected. I think he takes out Bus Warrior, right? Behemoth Blade coming in here. Go after Groudon. Go after Groudon. Please go after Groudon. I think that's going after Groudon because he would have probably played rough on me. No, he takes out my Buzz Wool. He takes out my Swole. He takes out my Swole. All right, so Buzz Wool drops out. I, I still think we have a fighting chance here as long as this connects with Zassian, right? Dude, I jinx myself all the time. Every single game, I jinx myself. I swear. I swear, yo, Zassian, you should be dead. I wish I could see his final Pokemon, but we're probably dying here. We miss up Blades. Get out of here. Helping Hand comes out here. So you're saying there's a chance. If I can eat this up, I'll have Citrus Berry rolling. And then I have a chance to pick it up a double kill. Groudon? Groudon? Can you connect these blades, please? That shouldn't have happened, first and foremost. We should still be... A, we, we This blade should be going into other Pokemon. I'm done. Never playing this game again. I'll see you guys never. What just happened? What just happened? I'll never play this game again. I swear. I'm just playing. But no, I like, dude, like, how? How do we miss three blades in a row? Three. Two on Zacian and one on Blasters. And then two in the same exact turn. What is that RNG? Like, at least give me a chance. I don't mind losing. But when I lose like that, it's like, come on, yo. That's just, that's just a stab to the heart, man. That's just a stab to the heart. It's just like, come on, man. Game, game is like picking sides at that point. Three in a row? What? What is this game? What is this game? But yeah, one and two for today's video. Maybe could have went two and one for today's video, but absolutely love this team. Huge shout out to my boy Joshua for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. If you guys want to uh, tweet me some teams, feel free to do it. I love getting you guys teams and I love using them on channel. But my boy Tentacle showed out today. The clear body and weakness positive combo with the Calyrex is actually really, really strong. So if you guys want to rent this code and try it out for yourself, rent the code is chilling at the bottom of the screen. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive video. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.